That belongs in a museum. Oh, no. <laughs> Despite the fact, I mean, it's the worst deck to play that against. Uh, but Doomguard alone discards a lot of really premium cards. Yeah, uh, I mean, Billy B's best hope here would be, you know, for this particular turn, Doomguard discarding his things that are not Doomguard. Right, and then so he hope can play to Doomguard play next turn. <laughs> play the second one, maybe pick up a one drop to and go so with So many of his cards, yeah, and he's just going to go with that. And he keeps oh! Doomguard. Oh, you see a smile come across his face. There. That's the perfect, the perfect setup here. That that is really good for J Billy B. Yeah, so he's able to take out the acolyte. He only draws a single card. Uh, Terence finds Whirlwind. It's so rather he, good, he, but he could, it's only one pink. Yeah, right? I mean now he doesn't currently have any way to actually deal with this Doom Guard, and there's a second one waiting. Yeah, I must say I think maybe playing the uh, like a ping on the Doom Guard followed by Wild Pyromancer just to get something on the board, and then maybe your board will be able to address his Doom Guard. Not knowing, of course, that there's another one in the back end, um, it probably is the best line of play. You want to get something down here. Yeah, and that's exactly what Terrence decides to do. He wants to chip away at that Doom Guard's health, uh, but right now. Oh, another no! Perfect, <laughs> another perfect draw. He actually has a one-drop to play alongside the second Doom Guard. He can clear off the Wild Pyromancer with one of the Doom Guards and then start pushing damage to the face. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think your, uh, your Doom Guards are good. You may not want to damage the second one, but the problem is if you kill the Wild Pyromancer, um, you're putting it down to the point where it can die to Finley plus a ping. Whereas now, you're at least pushing some damage. Execute wasn't there last turn, so your Doom Guards are both safe, as far as you know. Itself up to the point where the Sea Giant is forced to answer it, but what a difficult spot for Terrans, despite the fact that he's playing such a good matchup, as far as he's concerned. He's gonna go for the triple, quadruple patron. Yeah, he, with that Fire Blast and the Whirlwind, he's able to get in quite the, uh, the substantial board here. Uh, he does kill the half of Possessed Villager, the front half there. Mm -hmm. There's a Shadow Beast left. That one I know. That's you the name know I Shadow know. Beast, Shadow Beast, sure. Uh, and he, critically, he leaves the Doomguard with just three health. Well, that Daryl Alfalfa forces all the patrons to just go away if he wants to. He can clear up the 3-2 with the 1-1 one, one, and clear up the other ones with his minions. Oh, it looks like he was... Almost, okay. Yeah, he, ha he actually has the ability to, to, to remove the ability the, uh, the Deny the patrons, threat. Right. Is he not going to do it? Oh, dear. That That is... That, I mean, he might push 13 damage right now. It's not yeah, necessarily he, he, too he, bad. He could just be going to the face, but with, with Direwolf Alpha, he had the ability to kill the two health patron. Which, Absolutely. Which would have prevented Terrence from being able to duplicate it all. Oh, I think that was a slight misplay yeah. this turn. There was really no reason not to kill the 3-2 instead of the 3-1, uh, especially if you were going to play Direwolf Alpha as a result of the following turn. Yeah, so this actually... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. And oh, the... Indeed. the, the Ghoul as well he can drop the ghoul, which allows Patron to kill the Sea Giant, and then he still has the ping to make another Patron. Yeah, and the oh, he's actually not gonna not gonna make another Patron. He's actually just gonna kill the Dire with Alpha. Okay, uh, so and send some damage to the face. So. Very very tough position here for J Billy B, who's got really no way to come back in. He has life tap, but right now. Yeah, oh. those those if he plays those, he's just throwing them into the ability of Patron to duplicate. Right, he's he's throwing them into the ability to duplicate. But at but the same time, he has he has nothing, n no other options really. Yeah. I mean, it just feels like the Doom Guard discarding the non Doom Guards was a hope oh. to make the best Look of this, this bad matchup. Terrence, though. <laughs> oh dear, uh, battle rage from Terrence. To see me drawing. I mean, this is just so <laughs> difficult to handle. This is this is a five card battle rage on a board full of grim patrons. Oh, the value. Oh, oh another oh, battle rage. <laughs> oh, the evil battle oh, rage. Oh dear, and even even armor smith too, which gives Terrence the ability to pad his life total with armor here as well. This is this is a spot that it, it, it may just be impossible for J Billy B to climb back from. Yeah. And before Doom, <laughs> Tendra just a comeback just mechanism. Suddenly <laughs> just appears out of nowhere in his deck. Suddenly Doom. Doubling the rage for removal purposes. You know what? In this matchup, that's probably the best you're going to get because as, as long as the zoo's not on the board, you're good to go. Yeah, many many cases players don't want to uh, waste their inner rages in a situation like that. But in the position that Terrence is in now, he just has such a dominant board state. <laughs> That's not where Gormok is good. This this could give him the tentacle of Nazoth for a one damage AOE, which would kill right. him. Well, 
Billy B concedes, and now the match is even at one game apiece. Right. 